Hello everyone. So are you ready to revise men's syndrome or multiple endocrine neoplasias? Let us begin. Now everyone, multiple endocrine neoplasias means multiple endocrinal organs are going to be involved. It is mainly of four types which are men 1, men 2, men 3 and men 4. Men 2 is divided into two types, men 2A, men 2B, men 2B is same as men 3, right? Men 1 is known as Wormer syndrome and men 2A is known as Sippel syndrome. So everyone, what is men 1? Wormer syndrome and what is men 2A? That is Sippel syndrome. Men 2B is same as men 3. Done everyone, learned, one question done. Okay, next everyone is men 1 syndrome, very important. In men 1, remember this beautiful pink triangle, uneven triangle, right? In this, the first one, the first angle, the first dot that I have made is the first most common site which affects the men 1. That is the parathyroid gland. Everyone, parathyroid gland is the most common site where the men 1 occurs. And in this most commonly parathyroid hyperplasia occurs and second most common lesion could be parathyroid adenoma. The second most common, see remember this triangle, it has a shorter arm and that is the second most common which is the pancreatic tumors. In the pancreatic tumors, the most common tumor to occur is of pancreatic polypeptide. This order is very important. The first most common in pancreatic is pancreatic polypeptide. Gastrinoma, insulinoma, glucagonomas, then vipomas, and then somatostatinomas. Right? So now, first question, most common site where men 1 occurs? No, 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 not pancreatic, parathyroid. Second most common, pancreatic. But if the question is, most common site in pancreas, where men 1 occurs, then pancreatic polypeptide producing tumors, they occur most commonly. Done. Now, coming to the third, remember this beautiful pink diagram. The last one is very far off and that is the third most common site and that is the pituitary. And pituitary tumors are the third most common tumors occurring in men. Correct. Now, most common, again a twist question, most common pituitary tumors occurring in men are what? They are again a P prolactinomas. So everyone repeat with me. Men 1 is Wormer syndrome and it has what? It has 3 P's. 3 P's. First one parathyroid. Second P is pancreatic tumor and third P is pituitary tumor. In the parathyroid, we all know parathyroid hyperplasia most common. In pancreatic tumor, again, P is most common, pancreatic polypeptide. And in pituitary, again, a P is more common, that is prolactinomas. In pituitary tumors, the growth hormone producing tumors may also occur and acromegaly may occur. With all these features, because we are dealing with multiple endocrine neoplasias, with all this, in the patient, we may have foregut carcinoids, lipomas and cutaneous angiofibromas. This box is very important, right? So, there is a Ramu and he has cutaneous angiofibromas with parathyroid symptoms, hyperparathyroidism with a tumor in the pancreas, pa uh, pancreatic polypeptide cells with a prolactinoma then what it is going to be men 1 wormer syndrome done now men 1 occurs due to mutation of men in gene right men 2 now coming to men 2 now men 2 is 2a and 2b we all know that 2a is simple syndrome 2b is just same as men 3. Now, whenever there is a person, a Ramu, who has men 2, then he is going to have two common features. Men 2A, men 2B have two common features, which are MCT, medullary carcinoma of thyroid, 
and pheochromocytoma. So he is going to show symptoms of both these. The patient is going to be a euthyroid patient with hypertension, with headache, with palpitations. So these are the common symptoms of 2A and 2B. Done. Now, what are the differentiating features? In 2A, we are going to see parathyroid adenomas, cutaneous lichen amyloidosis, and Hirschsprung's disease. Right. Whereas in 2B, we are going to see cutaneous and GI neuromas and morphinoid features. So now if there is a person who has pheochromocytoma and MCT features, euthyroid conditions and he has morphinoid features, which syndrome am I dealing with? I am dealing with MEN 2B which is same as MEN 3. But if he has cutaneous lichen amyloidosis with the above two features, then I am dealing with MEN 2A or Sippel syndrome. Done everyone? Very good. And this occurs due to mutation of RET gene. RET gene on chromosome number 10. Menin gene was for MEN1, it was on 1, matla chromosome 11, 1, 1, right? Men 4 now everyone. Men 4 just you have to know this much detail. Nothing much. Men 4. Where is men 3 ma'am? Men 2 be. Yes. Men 4. Men 4 is nothing but mutation of CDKIB gene. What is this? Cyclin dependent kinase inhibitor gene is mutated. Because of which there occurs hyperplasia of parathyroid gland. So in men 4 CDKIB gene is mutated plus there is hyperplasia of parathyroids right now coming to this magic chart everyone which you have to revise just before your exam men 1 men 2a men 3 which is also meant to be and men 4 we all know men 1 is Warmer, it is due to menin gene present on chromosome 11. We have to remember the beautiful three P's and we have to remember what is common where. And we see here cutaneous angiofibromas. Now, beta, this last point is very important. Sometimes they just give you this. Men 1 may, what do you see? Cutaneous lichen amyloidosis, morphinoid features, neuromas or cutaneous angiofibromas. So, you know, it is in men 1, cutaneous angiofibromas, right? Men 2, men 2 is Divided into two, 2A, 2B, 2A, Sippel syndrome. It is due to mutation of RET gene. Common symptoms which we are going to find in 2A and 2B is going to be MCT and pheochromocytoma. But the differentiating features are going to be in men 2A, we are going to see cutaneous lichen amyloidosis in men to B or 3, we are going to see the cutaneous or GI neuromas and morphinoid features, right? In men 2A, Hirschsprung disease can also be seen. Men 4, you remember it is due to the mutation of CDK, cycling dependent kinase inhibitor gene and it leads to parathyroid hyperplasia. Now this topic of men, I hope you will never make a mistake. Thank you everyone. Happy learning. The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with BDS2 MDS and make your NEET MDS and INICET dreams come true. Download the app now.